Hi, beautiful. Today, we're gonna watch some people do some split dye hair color. I love a split dye moment. I think it's so chic, it's so fierce. I love the idea that somebody couldn't choose between two different colors, so they did both. Cause that's pretty much how I operate, which is how I ended up with 10 different colors on my head. So today we're gonna watch people bleach one side of their hair and color it a different color than the other. And I just feel like we're gonna see some fierce looks today. I know when I did my my split dye in my own hair, I was really feeling myself. And listen, I still look back on that hair and I'm like, damn, that's cute. With that all said, let's watch some people split dye their hair. Let's do it. Up first, we have a video by Sarah Pan, and this is called Bleaching and Split Dyeing My Hair. Black to blonde transformation. Hi, Brad Mondo. Hello. Instead of bleaching my hair head, which probably would be easier, I'm gonna go ahead and bleach half of it. I don't know if it's gonna look cool on me. I feel like it's gonna definitely look phenomenal on you. Like, really, really, really good. Also, though, it seems like you have black color of some sort in and around your entire head, besides the front. I'm very concerned about that lifting out. I don't know what's gonna happen. In, but I'm sensing some orange. I can actually almost smell the orange through the screen that's about to appear on your head. Hopefully it doesn't. Positive thinking, you know? I got this tub of bleach from Bed Bath & Beyond. And then this from Sally's, uh, it's 30 volume. I've also heard that 20 volume works if you just saturate your hair enough. Did she say Bed Bath & Beyond? <laughs> I had no idea Bed Bath & Beyond was selling bleach. Okay, that's concerning. I definitely think she needs 30 volume and I definitely think she's gonna need some foils in there. Except whenever you guys try to do foils on your own, it never comes out good. And that's because the foils are difficult, especially on your own head. So I had my grandma fix it for me. So this is the back now and I hope she didn't troll me. She also said, why are you filming this? No one's gonna watch it. So if you're watching this, thank you. Grandma, there's a lot of people watching the video. Also, great job with the parting. It looks fabulous. One of the most important things to me with split dye hair color is that you get that middle part right like I just love seeing a crisp line go from here to here it's just satisfying and I love it whenever I bleach my hair I have this vision in my mind of how easy it'll be because you know you just need to brush it onto your hair and then whenever I do it it just gets so messy uh, what's that? oh no oh I'll just leave that there oh wow well, I have bleach on the rug now okay it's not going great. Right now, it is actually going really bad. First of all, what is that foil? Why is it huge? You got one little piece of hair and you got a foil this big. Also, your lightener is way too watery. That's not gonna stick to your hair. It's just gonna fall right off. You gotta pack that lightener on. You want it nice and creamy, nice and thick. Okay. Okay, I'm definitely not doing this the right way. Oh my God. This is... Might be too late now. This is tragic. I've lost hope already and it's just the beginning of the video. What the hell? What? My technique must be really bad. I don't know what it looks like on camera, but I can already tell that like, I'm not doing a great job at avoiding my roots. No. It's coming off pretty splotchy. There's kind of like no technique at all. Next time, please take horizontal sections and apply the lightener evenly on the strand and take, take less hair. How many times do I have to say? Take like literally paper thin pieces of hair until you get to the top, okay? It's a lot of work, but it'll pay off. Also, I'm glad you're avoiding the root. We'll commend you on that one. Um, so that's good. The rest of it, uh, it's not the greatest, but we'll see. You guys usually pull it together at the end, so. I'm gonna wrap it in this aluminum foil and then I'm gonna let it sit for 30 minutes. It's the humongous piece of foil for me. Um, we're back. This is oh. what my hair is looking like. I'm gonna undo it now and oh. This is looking really patchy. So another thing with putting the foil on like that, when you put it on and you just kind of crunch it up, you're literally like taking the bleach off of some sections of the hair, which means some sections of the hair are not gonna be covered with the lightener and it's not going to lighten as much as other spots and you're gonna get spotting and all this nasty going on. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and wash this out and then we'll put on the step two. You're gonna wash it out? On, um, booster. I forgot to show you guys what my hair looks like dry on this side. It has coconut oil in it right now, which means it'll look a little bit darker than it actually is, but it's a crunchy brown color right now. It didn't lighten that evenly, but that's okay. Yeah. 
And we're gonna do this the right way today because last time I think there were a few things that I could have done better for the aluminum foil. I'm gonna make sure not to like crinkle it because I think last time I pressed too hard on it and that's why some of the bleach probably wasn't evenly distributed. Wow, you're learning as I'm watching the video. I love that. Oh. Look at the beautiful sections we're doing. And the lightener is a little thicker. Wow, we have improved heavily since the start. Bam, okay. Oh, look at her press that foil on not too hard. And we're bagging it too. I might have uh, not bleached enough up to their roots. So you can kind of see the line of demarcation, which looks bad. Hopefully we can fix it in the next bleach round. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I mean, hopefully she's doing a dark color on the other side of her head because she's gonna have to cover that stuff up with something. You know, she's not gonna get it super light blonde. Going from black, like jet black to blonde in just like a couple sessions is literally never gonna happen or if it happens you're very lucky so hopefully she's gonna do like a dark blue or a dark purple or something there's definitely some color difference this front part of my hair i totally forgot i already bleached that so i was literally just gonna say you're really putting more lightener over that front piece that was already bleached your hair's gonna fall off but i'm just gonna go ahead and wash it out now and then i will show you guys the results after and i think we still need one or two rounds of bleach so just bear with me. Uh, I'm barren. This is how my hair looks right now. It's not bad. I really messed up right here. That does not look good. It's not the worst. We need to lighten again though. I think we can get it to a light enough color today so then I can deposit my hair dye onto it. I'm still debating what color I wanna make it, if it should just be blonde or pink or- Not blonde. I guess that'll be a surprise. Oh God, this feels like the part where her hair falls off. She literally just bleached her bangs again. Your fringe was already bleached. So it's pretty blonde, especially here. I think it's the lightest part. It's almost white. The back is still a little bit yellow. Probably gonna bleach it at some point again. It actually looks quite healthy and her fringe is not falling off yet, so. Bravo. For the time being, I think we did a pretty good job. I don't even know where my line of delineation is no more, but. I love the the words we're using. The line of delineation. <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> delineation. What did she say? Deliation? I don't even know where my line of delineation is no more, but. Delination? <laughs> what did she say? Anywho, deliation. Uh... This is the back. It's definitely split. And today I was thinking we could dye it purple. Purple would probably stay on a little bit longer. I am so happy she's doing purple. Mm, I just hope it's dark purple. I'm not aiming for like a pastel purple, but just a like not too dark purple, not too light purple. Did she just say pastel purple? Mm. Girl, your hair is orange. You're not gonna be able to get pastel purple because purple cancels out yellow. It's just gonna turn into mud. Oh, it looks really dark. I thought you said pastel purple, but this is dark and I'm loving it. Okay, maybe it's not that dark. Undecided at this point. It looks dark in the bottom, it looks a little light on the top. It's not gonna be dark enough. You can still see the orange through her hair. This is what my hair looks like now. I did curl it because the color kind of deposited not so evenly. It's like a mix of brown and purple. Uh -huh. I'm not mad about it, but I will probably need to fix that at some point. I put so much pink into the dye mix and it still didn't come out at all. And I did add extra pink after the amount that I showed you guys. So I'm pretty sure it's 50-50, but. Um, not living, not dying, I'm more dying, but what happened? The purple made the orange mud. I would love to see your hair with a dark purple or just you're gonna have to lighten it again, unfortunately. Yeah, you're getting too much variation. It's not my favorite color, but it's fine. As long as you feel good in your hair, but maybe just bleach it one more time. <laughs> Don't tell anybody I told you to do that. The lightest areas of my hair took the most color, so it's very purple down here. And it's like an ashy brown. It's giving me very K-pop princess, which I can appreciate a lot. It's not the best, but for a quarantine makeover, I think it looks good. Not the best outcome, and I think she knows it. I think Sarah knows that she's like, oh, well, it could've came out a little bit better. I honestly thought, Sarah, you were gonna slay it at the end. So I'm kinda sad. 
that. That wasn't complete sledge. It was a little, uh, it's okay. There's always next time. Let's move on to the next video. Up next, a video by Mia Lopez, I think. This is called Attempting Neon Green, a split hair dye at home. I'm sorry, Brad Mondo. What is it about uh, all these titles today? Saying I'm sorry, Brad Mondo. Seems like you guys know you're doing something wrong. I've decided that the color that I will be going to is my original color, which is green. So there's a lot going on already. We have some faded out pink or red. I don't know which one it is. We got some roots and then we have black dye in the back. Pretty much the same situation as last girl, actually. <laughs> you guys have very similar situations and very similar titles. What's going on here? So I will be using this one. I got this off Sally. I love the concept of doing green and black. Like for her, I feel like it's gonna really work. Green and black is tough to pull off together. It can get a little bit like pukey and dark dark looking, you know, on the wrong head. But I feel like she can pull it off. I will be using 30 volume developer. We love, she definitely needs 30 volume because that hair is going to be tough to lift. And that is just my opinion, by the way. If you're a hairstylist out there and you think she could use 20, I'm sure she could. There's so many different ways to do everything. But for me, I like 30. A toner for it. This is T14. We're using T14, which I don't know what's gonna happen with that. We never really know. I already divided the whole entire head into two sections and I made sure that it's perfect. I love a perfect section. So I was just very confused for a moment here. I thought we were like gonna bleach, but I think we're doing the black side first. I was like, wait, 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 wait. Where's the lightener and why does it look like color? You should have lightened the other side first so then you can wash off the lightener and not worry about getting any black color in it. I don't know if you're gonna do one side, rinse it, the other side, rinse it. That's a lot of work. I would just prefer you to just do the lightener first, make the other side nice and bright, then do the green and the black at once. That'd be a lot easier. This way it's gonna be a little more time consuming and a little bit harder to make sure the bleach doesn't get on the black side and the black side doesn't get on the bleach. You know what I mean? You can tell uh, there's something clearly wrong. <laughs> so yes, we did the black side first. It's a big waste of your time, girl. It's green. Um, Why is it green? I have no idea. So she did a test strip and it turned green. You never know what's gonna happen when you lighten hair that is dyed black and you probably have colored other colors underneath that. Underneath that is more color. Underneath that is more color, I'm assuming. I don't really know. But you just sometimes just weird happens like that when you lighten it. And that's good that you did a test train. That way you know what's gonna happen. And yeah, the results weren't the best, but I feel like you can probably get there. We're getting that lightener on there and she is doing a thorough job. And I actually like the consistency of the lightener. She seems like she's using enough. Well, kind of. Y'all are really so shy with the lightener. I don't know if it's like a, like you don't wanna waste it or what's going on. When I say literally take a scoop of lightener and put it in your damn hands, like put a, a thick coating, like I mean thick. I mean so like you can't see the hair underneath thick. Like you should see how much uh, lightener we apply in the salon. It would be so thick you can't even see the hair. That's when you know you put enough on. It's also an assuring thing because when you put a ton of lightener on the hair strands, if you missed anything, usually the lightener will expand a tiny bit and it'll basically cover any type of imperfection or like a spot you missed, which sometimes does happen to even the best. That piece right there that she just put on, ooh, that was enough lightener. That's the type of lightening job I wanna see. So the bleach is already applied to all this side of my hair. It's looking a little greenish. We're doing foils too, and the foils actually look pretty cute and she didn't crinkle them up, which is great. This looks pretty good so far. Guys, I say this like every week now, but like I'm so impressed with just how far we've come with DIY hair color. Like it's crazy. I'm back, I took a shower and this is how the hair is looking. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. Ah. Now it definitely looks scary as f It's like, whoa, girl, keep that away from me type of moment. However, it is green, luckily enough. Um, you are doing green, it'll probably be fine. These are one of those moments in the salon where somebody would want green hair and their hair would turn out like this and I'd be like, okay, well, let's think about what I should do here. And I'm like, oh, well, she wants green anyways. F yeah, it's my it's my day. She wanted green and she got green, but I'm glad she's gonna lighten it again. I think it's a little too dark. Definitely at the ends, it needs to be lightened a little bit more. And I love that she's going on the darkest parts first and then moving on to the lighter parts. Yes, you guys. Also, look at how beautiful that application is. Okay, get it right up 
that part. See, it would have been better to do the whole lightening process first because now you have to worry about getting the lightener slightly on the black side and making like an orange spot. Whereas if you already lightened the entire other side and then did the dark part, you can cover up any sort of mistake you made on the black side with the black dye. So I got the bleach down on the roots, obviously not inside the roots because I'm just coating the outside of it. So I will see you guys after I do my roots and shower. Unexpected turn of events, but this is how it's looking so far. I'm going to go shower now. It's been 15 minutes. This is literally me last my color of my hair. All of a sudden, I my brows were done. All of a sudden, my brows were colored pink and I had no idea what happened. And the next day I was like, what the f And I colored them back. <laughs> Shut up. This is thy hair. This is how it's looking. So far. Wait, it looks so good. A bit of blow drying and so yeah, this is how it's looking. This is gonna be a great palette to put green over. I'm surprised she got it so light and so even. Oh, this is gonna look really cool. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo. She's working her way around town, coloring her hair green, and she's homebound. No, 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 no. Oh, the job she's doing, the thorough job is so mm, beautiful. I can't wait to see the outcome. Hey, shut up. Don't do that. Don't do this to me. Well, this is how it turned out. This is the final <laughs> form of the hair. Does have some spots where it's like a little questionable right there. I'm obsessed. It's not perfect, and you know that, which is fine. This is really good for what you like just did, and the result is pretty incredible. The black side looks so healthy. Even the green side looks pretty healthy. Your makeup, your wardrobe, the eyebrows, I wanna be you. I would say worked out a eight out of 10. There's definitely some things I could fix. Well, I hope you really enjoyed it. If Brad Mondo ever sees this, I'm really sorry. Ah, don't regret it. You did a phenomenal job. I really, really love this look. And I would totally give you an eight out of 10 as well. So we're on the same page. This video just made me want split hair dye again. Maybe that's what's coming after the rainbow. There's just so many choices. There's so many directions I could go in. I don't know what's next. We'll have to see. If you guys aren't already subscribed, if you want to do it, you can totally do it right down below. You can also click the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. If you'd like to follow me everywhere else, here are all my social media handles all around me. Ding, 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 ding. If you guys like check out my hair care and my hair color brand and get any of these colors I'm wearing today. You can do so at xmondohair.com as well as head to our Instagrams at xmondohair for hair care, at xmondocolor for color to get hair inspiration. If you would like to text me, this is my number. Yes, it is really my number. Yes, it is really connected to my phone. Yes, I really do see some of your messages. And yes, I'll be texting back a few of you guys if you text me right now. This will also keep you notified every time I post a new video. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Leslie and she says, I've had my hair balayage but want something colorful without the commitment. Are there any color products you recommend that eventually wash out? I'm glad you asked. There's this brand named X Mondo color. It is a semi permanent color, which means it only lasts a short amount of time. I can't give you an exact time period because it's different for everybody, but it will not be permanent. It'll continuously get lighter as you wash it. I recommend for you doing like a. I'm feeling purple. Just put it right over that blonde and it will eventually wash out. Super purple would look stunning on you. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Oh, <laughs>